Okay. <clears throat> I just noticed that sometimes the views on my videos, like, I lose views. Now I feel like I might be shadow banned or something. It's very weird. I just, like, all these views just disappear and I'm just, like, thinking, I might be, am I being shadow banned? <laughs> um, anyway. So I was gonna title this video, uh, who is stopping disclosure but i'm just gonna call it the cabal reptilian anti-human agenda oh man i'm gonna have to this is over the five thousand character limit so who is stopping disclosure is it the corporations? Uh, who is stopping this? If, if it's the corporations, uh, the excuse might be we need to disarm the populace and create a one world government so we can control humanity. This advanced technology can, and they're saying. If we don't do this, okay, uh, let's say an argument made by the corporations or those who are against disclosure. If we don't create a one world government, their, their argument is this advanced technology can be weaponized and if it falls into the wrong hands, calamitous destruction can result. So let's imagine the, this is the argument the corporations are making. Let's say the part of the, the government wants to disclose the information, but the corporations are saying, no, no, don't do it because we need to uh, disarm, take away the guns, <laughs> and we need to create a, a, a populace that can be easily uh, manipulated, controlled, surveilled, you know, that kind of thing. We need to create that condition before we can introduce the technology. So, if that's the argument that's been made by corporations or the cabal or the people who are against disclosure, what does the government do? Uh, instead of telling the truth about our hidden history, they create ops to disarm the populace. So you can see the Oklahoma City bombing, the 2017 Vega shooting, they're all designed to promote the gun control, you know, to take away from, uh, you know, to say there are these right wing militia out there, and, you know, we need to, we need to take away the guns because these people are dangerous. So the Oklahoma, Oklahoma City bombing and the Vegas shooting can be understood within this wider context that they, they want to take away the guns. Yes, because they want to disarm the populace, but maybe their real goal is to, because they want to introduce technology. So that can be an op. So this is instead of telling us the truth that we are, you know, we have this uh, relationship with these aliens, these non-human intelligences with advanced technology, instead of telling the history of, you know, the creation of humanity you know maybe they don't want to upset the religious people instead of telling us the truth instead of coming clean they resort to these um secrecy and then they create operations these operations oklahoma city bombing uh, which are just such a horrible thing to do but <laughs> just come out and say you don't have to do these ops you know, 9-11, Ukraine, Middle East wars to get global control of these societies. Climate change agenda. Lahaina could be involved in this as well. As well as other as well as other due attacks for reasons unknown to me at this time. All designed to create a one world government. And I think the Lahaina thing, uh, some people think it's satellites. I think it could be just UFOs, you know, because... Uh, uh, 
I've seen pictures of these lasers hitting the clouds and it looks like it's been shot from the from the ground but if you people should understand that this the world we're living in contains humans and a non-human intelligence with advanced technology now you have to you have to add that into the picture if you think it's all just humans you're not you're not understanding reality it's not like the jews or the elites or the bankers and the rothschilds there is a non-human intelligence with advanced technology they are the ones who are in overall control i would say it's not just humans doing it the problem is people think it's all just humans uh and I think this Lahaina could be like, I think they've been doing this in, in the past. I don't think this is the first time uh, they've done dew attacks. These dew attacks might be even in the Bible, you know. So the tragedy here is that if they told us the truth about our history and this advanced technology, none of these ops need to take place. The people who are in control are idiots the the government the generals <laughs> being manipulated by corporations who want to keep on making profits okay this is the horrible situation we're in maybe and this is just another maybe the atlanteans and other nhi cannot do anything because they don't have the numbers let's imagine that the Let's just, let's just imagine that, okay, it's the corporations who've convinced the government, like, we have to keep this secret because if we let it out, society will, will be mass panic, religion will fall apart because people will know about our true history. And and maybe the if, if I were to take a more positive view of some of these ETs, maybe they do want to release the technology, but I'm afraid... Uh, but they, but the hu humans, the corporations don't want that because they, you know, they want to keep on making money. Uh, but I think, I don't think humans are the ones who are uh, actually in charge. I think the, the NHI have, uh, you know, co-opted some human uh, colleagues or uh, <laughs> alliances with them. Um, okay, here's a video I saw. It's about, it's an interview with this, with this girl who says she was trafficked. And she talks about like how there's this elite, you know, uh, pedophile network and how presidents have been involved. And, and this is something I wanted to point out, like how, you know, she says she said that certain you know presidents are reptilian. I'm not reptilian. I mean, she uses the word pedophile, and the the my comment on this is, I think we need to look. When I watch the linked video, I'm getting the impression the cabal is made up of the reptilians, the people in Antarctica. You don't have to believe this. Even I have, I can have a hard time believing it, but think about it. The serpent in the Bible of the Lacerda files. Reptilians are meat eaters. And some of them can be thought to eat children. Because in, in the video she says some you know, some of these you know like cannab some of these pedophiles wanted to eat children. But like it's not the Jews or the elite. That's just covered. These are reptilians. It makes no sense. It makes no sense that humans would eat children or want to eat children. But reptilians eating human children makes more sense. And these beings can be in places of power controlling the government. Reptilians make more sense than pedophiles, especially when it comes to eating children. Just think about it. <sighs> yeah, this is, this is the problem. People think it's just humans, you know. Oh, these are just pedophiles. They're just like, uh, you know, bankers. They, no, it's not just humans. It's it, it, and if you if you read the Lacerda files, what Lacerda says, this is the point she makes in the Lacerda files. Reptilians have to eat meat. That's what she says. 
and and they they usually eat raw meat but she says oh but i prefer eat cooked meat and some fruits or something and she 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 makes a point of that she says unlike humans who don't have to eat meat reptilians have to eat meat and to me when i read that it's sort of like it, it leads when it le- it opens the possibility that she might be saying yes some of the reptilians have consumed humans or eat, eat, uh, eaten children and and this idea of human reptilians eating children I've, I've seen in another video as well and even tompkins make a po- makes a point even though he ta- doesn't talk about it he talks about the children and how look the reptilians are the ones who are the eating children okay and they might be the ones who are committing these abuses i'm not saying humans aren't doing it there might be some humans doing it but i think the humans who are doing it I might be emulating the reptilians because they think by doing this they get some magic powers or something. This is like how ignorant humans are. Uh, humans try to emulate their gods, <laughs> you know, the, the cargo cult. Uh, but the hum- the re- anyway, the reptilians are the ones who are eating the children and doing all these horrible things. So just a replace, it makes more sense. Why would humans want to eat children that doesn't make sense but reptilians eating children that makes more sense just look at humans humans eat uh look at how we treat our cattle and we eat cattle and you know veal and lamb and all of this so reptilians because they're a different species they might regard humans as in the same way i'm not saying all reptilians are doing it you know like it was mentioned through lesser files it's like a spectrum they might they might even have a rule saying don't eat human children but you know not all of the reptilians are going to follow the orders they're not go they're not going some of them might break break rules and i think in world war 2 what happened was the, the the nazis made a deal with the reptilians and all these people we think who were killed in the chambers you know the the, the, the auschwitz and all that i think a lot of them were trafficked to antarctica or to underground tunnels you know where there was this whole underground network and they were used as a slave labor force and also perhaps to kill a uh, create a breakaway civilization and maybe um and maybe what happened was the reptilians were uh, the americans during world war 2 found out about the reptilians and then they made the, they made their own contacts with the reptilians and said hey if you give us nukes you know uh we will like you know sign a treaty saying we will you know do what you want and maybe that this treaty is the reason why the american government at the moment uh is is try maybe there's a 70 year 100 year treaty that says um reptilians can abduct humans and eat them or whatever uh, or or the americans have to like create a rules based order maybe the one world government is what the deal was the reptilians said hey we will give you the nukes and you can use the nukes to destroy the nazis but in but in order in return what you have to do is you we will give you 100 years to create a one world government we want you to um pacify the human population on 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 this earth because this is our planet and we don't like what the humans are doing so you we want you to create a centralized society that can be controlled uh, because the humans are destroying our planet and we want this planet to you know this is our planet we don't want the humans to destroy it so the the reptilians gave them the nukes the americans said okay fine we will in in 100 years we will create this one world government that could be something that's happening here i'm just saying but another thing note i'm not suicidal if something happens to me the bad guys may have been involved this thing who are the bad guys the people of antarctica a cabal of terran reptilians and plantians bankers intelligence agencies nazi secret space program the deep state doing this work exploring these ideas can make one paranoid and rightly so given the type of people we're dealing with these people have no qualms starting wars killing a us president you know like kennedy this is about the mark of the beast it's an interesting thing example of the cabal following the bible just confirms our origins are told in the biblical stories with some changes to cover up the fact the bible is about aliens and not the creator god source at least as far as the old testament is concerned i think this is about like um like how um 
Something about nanotechnology, I forgot to sort of guess it. Yeah. Uh, nanotechnology and some kind of uh, uh, like biological identity, ID to identify people using uh, biological markers or something. This is something electrical universe theory it was a massive extinction event caused by an electrical discharge between the sun and earth or from Saturn, you know. Um, I think, the, you know, the electrical universe, Tesla, I think Tesla is, is a... Einstein was an op. It was an intelligence operation. And the, 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 the cabal wanted Einstein to succeed because if I, according to Einstein's view, there, there is no faster than light travel. There is this thing called gravity. Uh, and, that, and that is to confine, that is to stop people from investigating Tesla, the, uh, Nikola Tesla's theory of the electrical universe. And using this Tesla's theories, I think you can do you, if, uh, you can get this advanced technology though and, and and Tesla was suppressed Einstein was promoted um I haven't done a lot of research into this but I'm just pointing this out uh watching this makes me question my moon deorbiting theory I could be completely wrong with that um I think this electrical discharge event is more probable like maybe the mass maybe some of these mass extinctions were caused by electrical like thunderbolts and um, but here is here is my point okay even these scientists they always are looking for natural phenomena what i'm what i'm saying is if you, yes there is a natural phenomena but you should also include into your theory non-human intelligences aliens with advanced technology they might you know the wars in the bible the elohim they might have caused some of these huge cataclysmic events. They might have used directed energy weapons, uh, you know, electro, you know, electrical <laughs> discharges. Anyway, so scientists always want to make it all about natural phenomena. I'm saying no. You there is there is nature, and there is also another intelligent being. Maybe all of nature is directed by an, an, uh, an ultimate creator god who's intelligent. I think that's true, likely to be true. But there's also other intelligences with advanced technology. This might be the solar flash event, which some say is expected to happen around 2033. Either way, prospects for humanity in the near future is not good. Unless ETs can help us out, I'm not sure they can or even want to. So here's a UFO shoot down or a Russian meteor. Uh, electrical energy used to disintegrate meteor, an example of how UFOs have this technology, very destructive technology. <sighs> anyway, but the question still remains, where at least some or most of these electrical blasts well, were, at least some or most of these electrical blasts caused naturally or by UFOs? The battle between the Elohim and the reptilians. This is an open question. I am not convinced these are entirely natu natural events. The discussion of biblical events at the end of the video lends support to the theory these electrical discharges could have been caused by UFOs operated by the Elohim. Which video is that? Oh, I think, I think I'm talking about this video. The video showing the UFO supposedly shooting down the meteor in Russia is another support showing UFOs have this electrical energy weapon makes this makes sense and people talk about these events in the past they don't talk about UFOs they try to make it all sound natural no the missing piece are the aliens and UFOs they make the most sense the universe may be electrical electric bolts may have caused these mass extinction events but the cause of the electrical bolts are aliens using advanced technology. These events are described in the Bible. If these were simply cyclical natural phenomena, the events around 3,000 years or so ago during the Middle Ages are two recent examples, Sodom and Gomorrah. These are caused by aliens. Um, anyway... There is a non-human intelligence with advanced technology that is manipulating 
humanity from the shadows. And I, <clears throat> now people can have a good debate about who these people are, how many species there are, what do they look like. But one one thing that I would like to say is it's not just humans. There are non-humans with advanced technology. It's not just humans. What happened in the past, how the dinosaurs went extinct, how what caused the flood, there might be natural phenomena, and there is a non-human intelligence here. And I would say even the creator of the universe is a non-human intelligence. So, um, I need to remove 82 characters. Uh... Mm, I need to like oh man I have... mm. I have to find a way to get rid of this uh maybe I'll Shit, man. <laughs> Where do I get rid of A? Uh... Oh, great. I mean, yeah, I'll just. Uh... <sighs> no, can this work? Come on, please. Okay, I'm not, I'm not sure if this is exactly 300 years. Uh, maybe I'll just maybe, maybe that was not 3,000 years. I don't know. So I'll just remove that. Oh, why not?